Make is a free-to-use build tool created by the Mew Software Group. It's a pretty rudimentary piece of software that only allows you to create your own rules, define what's in them, and say which rules require which other ones. And that's pretty much all you do with Make. But that's fine, because its simplicity is what has allowed it to be used for the past 40 years, since the 70s. At least, according to Wikipedia. A lot of people don't really like to use Make because they don't want to write their own compilation scripts with like GCC and Javac and the other compilers. A lot of people would prefer to use something like Messin or CMake. But, you know, I, I kind of like Make, you know, because I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing with like GCC and these other compilers. You might have seen me actually cover some of these other build systems like Messin on my channel, but I have always wanted to cover this original sort of very rudimentary build system. First things first, we're going to start up a new project. I'm going to call it test because I'm feeling especially uncreative today. And let's say we're going to make it like a C project. So we're going to do some like test.c. And let me just write up this code real quick. Okay, so here's a very simple little C program. All it does is print testing, testing, one, two, three, and then it'll return a zero status, which means it did well. So let's go ahead and go into the command line and take a look at it. And I'm just gonna build it real quick. GCC, our new C compiler, new, the same people who made make, and just give it test.c. And if we do ls again, we have our a.out, which is an executable, as you can see, because it's highlighted green here in Linux. And yeah, it does the little thing. Now, I don't really want it to be called a.out. Let's call it uh, test. And this dash O in GCC actually allows us to specify the name of the executable. So we'll do that. And we have our tests. It does the same stuff. That's cool. But I don't want to have to type out GCC tests.c dash O test all the time. So instead, we're going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to create a make file. Uh, let me actually delete test there we go all right so we're gonna do we're gonna create a make file which is what the make program actually uses and how it knows which rules to define how they're defined all that stuff and remember to start out with like a capital m so as per sort of like tradition you mostly do all as like the very first rule in a make file and i'm going to show you how to make rules like defined by other rules so we're gonna say all clean and build so just I'll explain that in a minute, just hold on. We're gonna call clean, which usually in make files, the clean commands just gets rid of the executable. So it's just gonna do remove tests, but we're gonna do remove dash F. So that way, if the executable doesn't actually exist, it won't give us an error. And we'll also do build, which is where we'll put this stuff. So what this does is in our command line, when we call make build, it'll just do this. If we call make clean, it'll do this. And if we call make all, or because this is the first rule, just make, it'll run this, which does clean and then build. So we're gonna see it in action real quick. So pay attention to right up here. You'll see it only is make file and test.c. If we do make build, suddenly we have our executable. And if we do make clean, gets rid of the executable. And I'm gonna hit build again. And if we do build make all, did you see a flash there? It sort of disappeared because we called the remove and then it built it again. So it's actually really simple. You know, make isn't too hard to figure out. Now I know for much larger C programs, you might want to compile them into object files first and then build it from there. Uh, and I remember specifically in school, that's how they taught us how to do it. And I was kind of confused at first because they had like dot O's everywhere. So I'm just gonna explain that real quick because otherwise this video would be way too short and it's not supposed to be like make explained in under a minute or anything. So let's try that. So we're gonna do test.o and we're gonna create our executable executable test and I forget exactly how to create just object files in GCC with actually linking it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Remember dash C is to just compile. Yeah. 
So the way C kind of works is you write your code, right? It's your source file. And then when you go to compile it, if you have a compile all the way through to an executable, it actually converts it into an object file, which is basically just like each little bit of C source put into a preliminary binary before they sort of are made to reference each other. Because sometimes you have external libraries which you don't want to package in every single program that you write in C. So you have those binaries as like shared object files or whatever, somewhere else in your system, you convert your program into an object file. And then in the linking phase, that second phase of compilation, you have your program reference the shared object library. So that way it just saves on like storage and executable size and all that. Um, so we can we can access those two different phases separately using make if we just tell the GCC compiler to do that. The cool thing about make is that there's no limitations apart from, you know, you have to write out specifically what you want it to do yourself. So it's a bit more work, but it's a lot more freedom. We got a thing we actually do want also dash O. So just make this and yeah, whatever. All right, let's try that. So we're going to clean, let's do test-o, and yeah, we have a test-o here. Uh, that's binary, I don't know why I did that. And we're going to, we're going to minimize this first, we're going to do make tests. What do you know? Now we have our executable, yeah, so it creates that. And now the rest of this is all messed up because there is no more build, so if we just did make all or just make, because remember it's the first one. Uh, no rule to make target build, so it's going to throw us an error. And clean doesn't clean the .o file, only tests, so it's going to clean all the .o files now. And we're going to say test, which we can say uh, to make the executable, it might rely on test.o, which because, you know, it uses this file here, this is the command that creates that file, and it's called test.o. You don't have to call it that, we can call it like test1 or whatever. So be sure not to get confused between the rule names, which is what these things are up here, and then the files that are created by the actual commands. This test.o, this test.o that requires it. Make doesn't know to check to see like, oh, does this file exist? You have to tell it by saying that the rule that creates that necessary file is required by the rule that creates this executable here. You have to give make all the information yourself. Oh, and you can't do this. They have to be indented beneath the rules. Just remember that. Okay, that was mostly a short video. I might've stretched it out a bit. Uh, I've been a bit busy lately. I actually almost waited to the last minute to record and edit all of this. Uh, it's just been a very busy last few weeks. I was considering maybe just not putting up a video this week because I was just so busy and I was like, eh, I don't want to rush out something that is like a bit too stale, something you might have seen before. But, you know, I decided to, I was looking through my release schedule and I was like, you know what? I think I'll do a video on make. So it's something I wanted to get out of the way for a while now. So I finally got around to doing it. Uh, and next week, actually, that Saturday is the day before my birthday. So I'll be putting out a very special video on a special project sort of near and dear to me. Um, so definitely be looking out for that. I think those are all the announcements that I got for today. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next week.